really sure that was louder than it should have been. There we go. God, I hate that. Any game company that does this, I, ha I hate you. I hate you. The reason I hate you... Just... Oh, I'm not running deck story. That would explain why that's not working. The reason I hate you... Is that you don't allow your game's volume settings to affect your stupid-ass splash screen. More to the point, you have a stupid-ass splash screen. There we go. In fact, it seems like it's louder than it was before. Alright. Okay, so I'm now running second graphics card. Uh, again, I have no idea if this is going to make a blind bit of difference here. Again, it's something that I might I might end up trying to dedicate to physics or something, see if that helps. Assuming this game even supports SLI, it might not. Who the hell knows? I uh, don't really know if that's any better than it was. Is it? It, it looked... It seems like it's better, doesn't it? Okay, let me just... Let's check performance where... Wow, it's still eating every frame in the world. But... Like, if you saw the CPU usage, it would make you cry. It's like, what the hell could possibly kill all 12 cores? Nah, the game doesn't require that much meat, honestly. Uh, it, it's not that bad. It won't be any more blurry. I've done nothing to change the encoding settings. I can guarantee you that. That's probably just a trick of the mind. Yeah, it's, it's all going into... X split. That's what's eating everything. VH multi writer is going up to like 85% CPU usage. Chrome's eating a couple, but that's not really a big deal. Yeah, I can do that, but the thing is, it's, it, it's using all of them. I can't give it less. The thing is, the game's not being affected by it. The, the only problem would be if XSplit's CPU usage was affecting the game, but it's not. The game's frame rate is totally fine. Even with DX Tori running, the, the game's still at 150 FPS. So that's not a problem. Like, you know, particle effects and stuff like that aren't making a blind bit of difference, so I'm not really too worried about that. Oh, the ground scorching thing? Yeah, they've they've made some improvements. Like the mouse control seems better. As far as I can tell, it's much much smoother than it was. The inventory is still crap, by the way. I just want to point this out. They haven't done a damn thing to fix this. But something I didn't know, which maybe some of you noticed in the demo, is that there is actually a compare function. Uh, let me just go. Where's that stupid ass? I don't even know why I'm showing you this. This is totally irrelevant. I'll show you this in the proper thing, but if you go into that secret cave to the side here. So the inventory is not worse than Skyrim, though. I've got to say that. Skyrim's is worse. It's just, Skyrim's is just one long list, but still, they're both bad. If we go to here, check the footlocker. Now, what I didn't know is, like, I don't know which one of these is better, right? I didn't actually know there was a compare function, and it's on the right click. So... And then you've got all of those equip at, you can directly equip from there, which I didn't know. I didn't notice that in the demo at all. But that's much, much better because you can compare it to everything you've got. And also add to junk. Junk is possibly the best thing in the world, by the way. I don't even know why other games don't do junk. It's like put everything that you don't want in your inventory list directly into junk. Right click, junk. Done. It's completely gone. And then you can just sell it all. You can even destroy your entire junk inventory with a single click, which is very nice. But aside from that, it's like the, the inventory is pretty bad in this game. Anyway, that's not what I'm supposed to be talking about. This is mostly just for testing. So it seems to be running better. That's my understanding of it, yes? 
far as I can tell. Good, less frame drops. I mean, there's going to be frame drops one way or the other, I think, but it's nice that it's got less. It may even be... I, I don't think there's any real way we can stop there being frame drops all the time. Uh, let's give me a sec. I'm just going to monitor the frame drops on X split here through the window. So it's consistent 30, 30, 30. Drops down about 28, 27 here. It kind of chokes in the water still. I'm just, I'm kind of monitoring, uh, reckoning as well to see what kind of CPU usage you're using. It's always, it's always hovering around 14, 15 percent. It doesn't even seem to use more when you go here. It might just be like the intensity of the scene causes the encoder to flip out. Okay, there's a couple of other things I can do to try and improve this. I can reduce the CPU usage of XSplit by potentially lessening the quality. Now, I might be able to find a balance between quality and smoothness because to me, constant 30 FPS without drops would be good. So I'm going to... Let's stop the stream for a second, because I'm going to give it something to chew on. Now, needless to say, I'm just looking at this seam right here. It's like 25% of my CPU on a scene that's not really moving. I start spinning around, CPU suddenly goes crazy. Like, it starts, it eats the entire CPU on that. So, let's see what I can do about the frame right there. And uh, no, fr high frames in game doesn't reduce the frame on stream, actually. Um, that doesn't make a difference. The thing about the, the quality reduction is you might not even see it. Because it's just the way that the encoder works isn't efficient. So, like, you're getting diminishing returns based on your encoder presets. So, give me a sec. I'm just going to drop the stream and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. 